checking out this video, don't forget, like and subscribe. Janelle Grant has hired a public relations firm, SKDK, which has worked with survivors of Harvey Weinstein, Marilyn Manson, Jeffrey Epstein, and several others. And uh, this is in advance of this Netflix. Boy, we're going to have some shows starting next week. Yeah, six hours on Wednesday. I don't know how I'm going to pull that one off. Well, I'm not doing it, just so you know. It's okay, well, literally well, I, impossible. I, well, I'm going to have to do it because I have to, I, you know. You're going to watch many... six hours and Dynamite and NXT? I'm going to have to. Well, I don't. I'm, I have to watch the six hours because I'm going to be flooded with questions. I mean, I'm already doing media for it now, and it's, it's still a week away. So, um, you know, the um, so I have to watch it. Um, we'll see what it is. I mean, I don't have any preconceived notions other, you know, I mean, I can only say that the the director who did it um, covered with me every single thing that I would expect someone to cover. I didn't. There were no stones unturned. What the final product is, I know that there. I know that there are people who were in WWE who are not happy with it. Um, so what I does that told, mean? Oh, because it's not a you know. It's a. I don't know how fair it is to Vince, but they they thought that there were people there. Now, granted, are these granted, pro Vince people or anti Vince people? These are pro Vince people. Okay, well, pro, pro Vince I would people. expect them to not be happy with this documentary. Well, if it was a fair documentary, how could they be? Exactly. Yeah. So, um, but, um, I mean, we'll see. I mean, I, I will say that I am certain that the people who are really, really anti Vince will not be happy. They're actually going to be in a tough situation because the people who are really anti-Vince are not going to be happy because I suspect that there will be a lot of pro-Vince stuff there, a lot. The people who are pro-Vince will also likely not be happy because there will be... Well, I mean, this thing was started years ago before this Janelle Grant thing even happened. So yeah. they interviewed tons of people that are talking about Vince before any of this came out. Including me. So it's going to, obviously, the, the early portions, there's going to be a lot of people that are positive about Vince. And then, However, obviously, how- once they get to this, I mean, unless they're going to unless they're gonna tell the story of Janelle Grant, but edit in positive comments that people made before the thing even came out. Well, they're not going to do that. But, that would but, be but, something. But, okay, but here's the thing. Take out the Janelle Grant thing. Never happens, right? Okay. Never happens. The Wall Street Journal stories never happen. We never know about any of this, okay? You still can't do a positive piece on Vince. Well, no. 100%. I was on the uh, Nine Lives of Vince McMahon, which was done before the Janelle Grant thing happened. Yeah. You could not do I a positive. I did pos- not have much positive to say about him. You could not have, you could, I mean, I'm not saying you can't have positive, but if you were doing a fair piece he on Vince McMahon. He had some positives, if you talk about his well, business of acumen. Can. Of course But I don't think positive. he's got too many positives in terms of his personal life. Yeah. Even before all of that happened. That's my point. My yes. point is, my point is, is that um, it's actually kind of something that actually I do want to bring up because of, um, did you see, you saw the McFoley comments, right? Yep. Yeah. I mean, I was like, you know, obviously I, I've been friendly with McFoley for, I don't know, 30 years, 40 years. And I was like, really, you know, especially because of, of Mick Foley's background and working with Rain and everything, I was like really disappointed. I mean, I know I know where he's coming from in the sense of, you know, he owes, I mean, he, he would have, you know, he was a, a successful pro wrestler without Vince McMahon. And the reality is, is that Vince McMahon never saw anything in him originally um, would not hire him. And I mean, the story, I mean, I don't know how, how much, I mean, everyone knows the story that it was basically Jim Cornette and Jim Ross who pushed and pushed and pushed Vince to hire him. And Vince McMahon actually told Jim Ross at one point um, when he hired him, and he just goes, I know it's going to break your heart when the guy doesn't get over here, you know, and, you know, but things change, okay? The fact is Vince was Vince was wrong. He did get over. And, you know, Vince, once he did get over, Vince did give him, you know, enough to be a star. You know, he, you know, he was there to be fed to Undertaker at first, but he got over in the feud, and you know, I mean, he had several big years there. He became a best-selling author, um, made a lot of money, made way more money than he would ever would have made if Vince hadn't have given him the chance. Even though it was, again, it was it was really Jim Ross and and Cornette that really were the ones who went to bat for him. But, um. 
so I I can see like you have a mixed um, vision in the sense that yes my life was helped my career was helped by Vince McMahon I became popular I was able to do these comedy shows across the country or talk shows that are that are that you know I've been to a couple of them they're very entertaining but um, it's like when you're commenting on this even even if you want to be a, 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 you know you want to go and I don't even think this is unfair to go I want to wait until all the facts come out before I you know sta stab the dagger in his back okay I get that you just have to read the frickin' stuff that we know is real, which is the, uh, the you know, the text messages. And, you know, you can, you, can, you can cry out of context, and maybe they're even out of context, and maybe if you saw, you know, what was, what was said before and after, that somehow or other there's nobody that seems to have that, because, goddamn, if Vince's side had that information, I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, I would have that information right now, and they don't for whatever reason because Vince, you know, deleted it from his telephone, which I'm sure he did um, because, you know, if the feds found it, you know, whatever. But the thing is, is like, even at a, like, even, even if we say that, you just read that stuff, okay? You just read that stuff, and it's like, you, there, there's, you know, it's not defensible. It's not defensible. You know, and so I guess that's why I was really um, disappointed in in that. I mean, you can, you know, I don't mind people saying that Vince was good for the business or Vince helped my career or anything like that. But you just can't overlook this. And I know, you know, I mean, there's a lot of people who have a lot of people who've kept completely quiet on this for fear of reprisals, for fear that. You know, whatever. I mean, how many people in, in WWE? I mean, I mean, Randy Orton kind of, kind of, kind of, but not, you know, but other statements, not so much. Um, Becky Lynch was pretty strong, you know. Um, but look, she's a superstar. She can get away with it. And she's also named in her contract now. Um, and who else? Um, as far as this, I mean, Ronda never really talked about this. But again, she's gone. And I don't think she gives a shit. And um, the only other one was really probably Punk, who, of everyone, you know, Punk probably gave the best answer. Punk said, like, you know, once you read the text, it's like, what can you say? It's right there. So anyway, yeah, um, I was, you know, so I was a little bit disappointed there. But the, um, you know, as far as like the, the documentary is going to be, I mean, there's a lot of people already talking about it now and a lot of media talking about it. You know, as far as we'll be talking about it next week, it's going to be a pretty big deal. And uh, there'll be a lot of good and a lot of bad. I'm sure that uh, most people will have a negative slant, will be very negative towards it, um, you know, to, you know, no matter what, because because I just feel that it will probably be, you know, it's got to be there's got to be a lot of negative. There has to be, especially with the General Grant stuff and the way he left and everything like that. And um, but there's, you know, you have to. In the story of Vince McMahon does have the building of the WWE. And this company is, you know, it's this strong company that dominates professional wrestling to this giant degree. You know, it ain't, it ain't Nick Khan and, and Paul Levesque. They, they ran with um, the foundation and did make it better. But the foundation, the core, everything is 100% Vince McMahon. I mean, Vince McMahon is the guy who built that company. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.